Archaeologists believe they have found the remains of the ancient Greek fort of Acre, solving one of Jerusalem's greatest archaeological mysteries. The Acre is both the name of a fortified structure and also one of three residential areas in Jerusalem. This area is also known as the Lower City. Following Alexander the Great's death in 323 BCE, Judea was contested between the Ptolemaic Kingdom in Egypt, and the Seleucid Empire based in Syria and Mesopotamia. Seleucid Emperor Antiochus III's victory over Egypt in the Battle of Panium brought Judea under Seleucid control. Antiochus IV Epiphanes ascended the Seleucid throne in 175 BCE. He also had launched two invasions of Egypt, in 170 BCE and again in 169 BCE, and routed the Ptolemaic armies. His intent to unify the Seleucid and Ptolemaic kingdoms alarmed the rapidly expanding Roman state, which demanded that he withdraw his forces from Egypt. With Antiochus engaged in Egypt, a false rumor spread in Jerusalem that he had been killed. In the ensuing uncertainty, Jason gathered a force of 1,000 followers and attempted to take Jerusalem by storm. Although the attack was repulsed, when word of the fighting reached Antiochus in Egypt, he suspected his Judean subjects of exploiting his setback as an opportunity to revolt. In 168 BCE, Antiochus IV Epiphanes marched on and sacked Jerusalem, looting the temple treasury and killing thousands of its residents. Reversing his father's policy, Antiochus IV issued decrees outlawing traditional Jewish rites and persecuting observant Jews. Temple rituals were discontinued, Jewish observance of Sabbath prohibited, and circumcision outlawed. To consolidate his hold on the city, monitor events on the Temple Mount and safeguard the Hellenized faction in Jerusalem, Antiochus stationed a Seleucid garrison in the city. While he was occupied in the east during 167 BCE, a rural priest, Mattathias of Modian, raised a rebellion against the empire. Both the Seleucid administration and the local Hellenized faction failed to grasp the magnitude of the revolt. In 164 BCE Judas Maccabeus liberated Jerusalem and reconsecrated the temple. Although the surrounding city had fallen, the Acre and its inhabitants held out. The location of the original fortified structure known as Acre is important for understanding how events unfolded in Jerusalem during the struggle between Maccabean and Seleucid forces. This has been the subject of debate among modern scholars. The location of the lower part of the city at the time of 1st century CE is accepted to be Jerusalem's southeastern hill, the original urban center traditionally known as the City of David. The top of the mount is approximately 30 meters above the ground level. Archaeological research south of the Temple Mount, however, has failed to locate any evidence for such large-scale quarrying. On the contrary, excavations in the region have uncovered substantial evidence of habitation from the beginning of the first millennium BCE down to Roman times, casting doubt on the suggestion that during Hellenistic times the area was significantly higher than it was at the time of Josephus or that a large hill had been cleared away. This had led many researchers to disregard Josephus' account and his placing of the Acre, and suggest several alternate locations. Since 1841, when Edward Robinson proposed the area near the Church of the Holy Sepulchre as the site of the Acre, at least nine different locations in and around the old city of Jerusalem have been put forward. Several systems under the Temple Mount itself have also been proposed as possible remnants of the Seleucid Citadel. These include a 700,000 imperial gallant cistern shaped like an E, the northern edge of which is adjacent to the proposed southern line of the Temple Mount precinct before its Herodian expansion and commonly translated, perhaps incorrectly, as the Cold Well. In November 2015 the Israel Antiquities Authority announced the probable discovery of the Acre. According to archaeologists Storon Ben-Ami, Yarnich Kinovitz, and Salome Cohen, excavating the Givati parking lot adjacent to the City of David, they had unearthed a complex of rooms and fortified walls they identified as the Acre. This places it slightly south of previously suggested locations on the offal. Finds include fortification walls, a watchtower measuring 4 by 20 meters, and a glassy. Bronze arrowheads, lead sling stones and ballista stones were unearthed at the site, stamped with a trident, the emblem of Antiochus IV Epiphanes. These are indicative of the military nature of the site and the efforts to take it. The excavation also yielded coins from the reigns of Antiochus IV through Antiochus VII, as well as a multitude of stamped Rhodian amphora handles.